Well, there's only one reason why you clicked on this video, and that's because your computer's running slow. Don't worry, I got you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few steps that you could take in order to speed up your computer a little bit. Your computer runs slow for various reasons. Usually it's because your startup is a little clogged up. Also, Windows Update tends to run whenever it wants, usually every freaking day all the time. And on top of that, your computer has tons of things that you'll never use that are constantly running in the background while you're trying to use it. So let's take a few minutes and run you through a few things that could definitely speed things up. If this video helps you out at all, do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, you guys. It does me so much more than you know. It helps my videos grow. It helps me grow on YouTube, and I appreciate it a lot. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at what's starting up with your computer when you turn it on. Go down to the search, type in run, and select the run app. Then type in msconfig. Select OK. Then go ahead and go to the startup tab and click open task manager. In this window is a list of all of the programs that start up with your computer when you turn it on. If you see anything on this list that does not need to turn on with your computer, make sure that you disable it. If you're unsure about a program, do not disable it. So to be clear, everything on this list should only be enabled if you want it to start up with your computer when you turn it on. Everything else should be disabled. When you're done, go ahead and close out the task manager and then click on the services tab. Services is another word for programs or software that is running in your computer. Here on this list is everything that starts up with your computer when you turn it on. You want to make sure that you go through here and you disable certain things that you guys do not want turning on with your computer. The way to make it easy for you guys is go ahead and hide all Microsoft services. That way you're not going to turn off something that you're not supposed to. And then go through this list very carefully and uncheck everything that you do not want turning on with your computer. Anything that has your computer name with it or your Intel card or your processor chip or your memory or your graphics Intel, make sure you do not uncheck any of those, okay? But things like Google Update and Epic Online Services, they can all be turned off. Again, you guys, if you are unsure about anything on this list, do not uncheck it. You could also check Google really quick, type it in and see what it is before you uncheck it. That way you can make sure that you're not turning off something that's not supposed to be turned off. When you're done, go ahead and click apply, then click OK. If you are prompted to restart your computer, go ahead and exit without restart. We've got more work to do. Next, go down into the search box and type in update and select check for updates. Make sure you go ahead and update everything that you can on your computer. And if you are prompted to restart your computer for updates, go ahead and do that now. And then when you come back, go ahead and go back down to the search and type in updates and come back to check for updates. Once you guys are all up to date with your computer, go ahead and click advanced options and go down to pause until select date. And the reason why we're going to do this, you guys, is because every time you turn on your computer, your computer will be checking for updates. This slows down your processor tremendously during startup and can cause all types of headaches when running programs. I like to set it for Saturday morning. That way during the week when I'm working and doing my gaming, I don't have any problems with Windows Update trying to run in the background. When you're done, go ahead and close the window. All right, now go ahead and turn on your antivirus program, whatever it is that you have protecting your computer. If you do not have an antivirus program protecting your computer, this is a big problem. You can, however, download free antivirus software from Avast.com. I'll have the link for you in the description below. Over the years, I have used Avast on probably 20, 30, 40, I don't know, maybe even 50 different computers. It's all free, very easy to use. And the features that come with the free version of their antivirus protection are actually legit and keep your computer safe. Now, once you have your virus protection open, you guys are going to want to run a full scan on your computer Make sure that you're checking everything, not just the files. Go ahead and make sure that everything is selected. Run that check and make sure that you are free of any viruses. Also, you guys can take it one step further and go to malwarebytes.com. I'll have the link for you in the description below. A wonderful program that checks your computer for spyware, malware, and things like that that steal your information like passwords, emails, phone numbers, and things like that. 
All right, and the last thing that we're going to do is clear up our temp folder. Go ahead and go down into the search, type in run, select the run app, type in temp, click OK, and then in the temp folder, just select everything and delete it. Go ahead, close the window, and then go down and type search run, run app one more time, percentage, temp, percentage, click OK, and make sure you delete everything in this temporary folder as well. Some of the files might be in use, so you can just go ahead and skip those. And voila, go ahead and close the window and you're done. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to speed up your computer a little bit. Just follow those steps, alleviate a little bit of the headache that you've had going on with your computer. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.